In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Coinbase Wallet browser extension. And for more information on Coinbase, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. If you're currently using the Coinbase Wallet to connect to popular Ethereum based apps such as Uniswap, Compound, or Aave, you may be interested to hear that there's now an even easier way to connect to these via the desktop. Coinbase has now released their own Coinbase Wallet extension, allowing users to download an extension into their Chrome based browser and then they can easily and securely connect to DeFi and decentralized apps via the desktop. Now previously, the only way to connect your Coinbase wallet to the likes of Uniswap or Compound was by scanning a QR code using a mobile phone anytime that you want to connect to a dApp. However, with the launch of the Coinbase wallet extension, this now works as a bridge to instantly access crypto apps, very similar to the way in which the MetaMask browser extension works. Once you've linked your wallet account to the extension, you can browse all dApps with a single click. However, you will need to confirm your transactions from within your wallet, similar to how a hardware wallet would work. Plus, you can also link your Coinbase account to the wallet, and then you can buy and transfer crypto to use in DeFi without having to leave the wallet. And all the transactions and the activity that you make on the desktop via the wallet extension will also stay in sync with the Coinbase wallet mobile app. So what about your private keys? Well, with the new wallet extension, the wallet's private keys are encrypted using the secure enclave or key store on your mobile device, where they are then protected with the biometric authentication or a PIN. And they state that because the Coinbase wallet is non-custodial, customers will need to manage their transactions from within their wallet mobile app just to ensure the high levels of security. So let's jump into it. And before you get started, you'll need to make sure that you're using the latest version of the Coinbase Wallet app before you start downloading the extension. And I'll put links for this below, as well as a link to open a Coinbase account where you'll get $10 of free Bitcoin when you make your first trade. But please don't get the two Coinbase apps confused, as there is an app for Coinbase.com, which is the exchange for buying and selling your crypto. And then there's another separate app for the Coinbase wallet, which is used to store your crypto. So from the Chrome Web Store, you can choose to add to Chrome, where you'll then be asked to confirm. So I'm going to choose to add extension. And the Coinbase wallet extension has now been added to Chrome. Once added, you'll receive a screen prompting you to connect to your mobile app to make crypto app transactions on the desktop easier. So all we need to do is open the Coinbase wallet extension from the list of extensions. And that should look like a blue circle with a small blue circle inside. Now, if like me, that's not appearing because you've not pinned it yet, just click onto the puzzle icon or extensions where you can then easily pin it if you want. Now, if we click onto that icon, I'm asked to scan the QR code from inside my Coinbase wallet. So if I just head across to my mobile now, and open up the Coinbase Wallet app. And then, if I head across to the QR code icon in the top right hand side of the screen and press onto it, you'll then need to allow access to the camera if you've not already done so. Then, you scan the QR code that's shown on your desktop. And you'll then get a confirmation letting you know that the extension can connect to apps and reveal your public address, and it'll send you requests for any transactions but it won't be able to move funds without your permission, which is great. Like I said earlier, this is similar to how you would use a hardware wallet in conjunction with MetaMask to authorize transactions. So I'm just gonna allow that. And my wallet is now connected. And you'll probably want to turn on notifications here so that you can quickly approve or decline those transactions. Heading back to my browser now, we can now see that my wallet has now connected to my Coinbase wallet extension here. So let's go ahead and try and connect to a dApp such as Uniswap, which I do have a full tutorial for. So if I head across to Uniswap and connect my wallet, and I'm gonna select the Coinbase wallet from the list here, where I'll then need to allow the website with my Coinbase wallet extension 
which can see my balances and it can send me requests for transactions, but it can't move my funds. So I'll allow that now. Where you'll then see my wallet is now connected in the far right hand side of the screen. And if I click onto that, it will then show me the details of my connected wallet. And I'll just show you another connection now over on Aave. Now normally I personally use Metamask in conjunction with my Ledger hardware wallet. So if you've previously connected to an app using the likes of Metamask, that might automatically try and connect. But you can simply close down that window and you'll see here now it's automatically detecting my Coinbase wallet extension instead, which I can then allow. And my wallet is now connected. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple process. And then anytime you want to make a transaction, you'll automatically be prompted on your mobile to authorize that. But that concludes how to install and use the Coinbase wallet browser extension. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.